Okay. It's been a long, hard day. Just 
Listening to minor drug records all day and shit about. 
to kill it the that iteration of that song goes on for another five minutes <laughs> this is what it is oh i'm fucking tired uh i was up until early a.m um my boy's in um he's he's admitted he's in a hospital bed he's got a room um i mean they haven't really done shit for him other than just get a fucking iv in him but he's in a bed at least for those keeping track, to get to the temporary bed, it took 11 hours and 27 minutes just to get a temp bed with no blanket or pillow. Um, beyond that, it took nearly 15 hours to get the room. So 15 hours to get admitted. So, American healthcare. It's the best in the world. And ironically, that is one of the better ER centers in Los Angeles. Oh, he did, Monkey. He got he got admitted. Um, yeah, glad to hear you didn't uh, have a concussion, Cat. Cat, also, did you see I tagged you over in the commons on the Discord server? Yeah, eleven twenty-seven to get a temp bed, fifteen hours to get admitted. I, I, yeah, I stayed up with him. Good. Um, yeah, I stayed up with him just to make sure he didn't <coughs> do something stupid. Uh, yeah, LA went full, uh, full, uh, buddy retard last night. Fucking people calling in bomb threats to ERs. Fucking Cinco de Mayo drunk ass drivers, fucking COVID idiots. Oh, I swear to God. Um, and dig. Just so you know, uh, Louisiana is in fact um, the the language in their bill criminalizes IUDs. So next time you're arguing, if you here, um, this will lay it out for you. Here you go, dig. Next time you're dealing with a fucking moron bro dude. Um, link in chat if you need it. They'll highlight each section and walk you through it. No, I don't fucking know. I just needed to sneeze. Um, so, yeah, no, they're coming. Dude, they're, they're going to turn um, contraception um, into felonies. So, I'm... The ER, what does an ER do about a bomb threat? They shut down. They shut the facility down. Everybody evacuates. The bomb squad goes in. They do a full sweep of premises. And then fucking... Um, then they have to go in and re-secure the biosecurity procedures for the facility. Because bomb squad doesn't go in clean. So they have to sweep the facility and then the hospital maintenance staff has to go through and sweep the facility and make sure that it's back up to sterilization spec. It shuts everything down for hours upon end. Um, funky. Um, I'm going to be, uh, dude, I'm going to be hazy. Cause I'm running on basically no sleep. Um, Tennessee just arrested a trans kid. 
Tennessee just arrested a trans kid. That's what it was. Um, Tennessee refused to allow a trans kid to like not be absolutely browbeaten and like put her in a boys gym class, put her in the boys bathroom and I forget what else. So they, um, the, the kid stopped going. So they arrested, um, they arrested the kid in the middle of a game stream and fucking the cops literally hauled the kid out in handcuffs and said, are you winning? So pig gonna pig, I know. Um <clears throat> uh, let's see. Russia continues to lose the naval war even though it's a land war. I, I don't know how the fuck they're doing this, but um, yeah, Russia lost another fucking ship. It, it's it, look, it hasn't sank yet, but it's on fire. Um, I've, I've seen the, the the drone footage of it on fire. Um, so Russia continues to fuck itself. Let's see. Uh, the Admiral Makarov. It's a frigate. Uh, reportedly hit by a missile and on fire. So. Or a country music. Yeah. Yeah, you can get away with it if you're a country music artist. Uh... Oh, um, y'all remember the piece of shit pig in Colorado who fucked up the um, elderly woman with dementia, the 70 year old that walked into like Kmart or Walmart or whatever the fuck it was and like walked out with a Pepsi or some shit. Um, and so he and his piece of shit partner like snapped her fucking arm twisted it up behind her arm and literally said, um, wait for the pop or some shit like that. I forget what the fuck it was. Um, yeah, like literally like put her arm behind her back and then all the way up to like the elbow to the back of her head, basically absolutely fucked her up. Um, and then they denied her any health care. They put her in a fucking cell for six hours and then denied her any health care. The cops been uh, uh, sentenced to five years for assaulting her. Uh, the male cop, by the way, not the piece of shit female pig cop. The piece of shit female pig cop, I don't know what is happening to. Um, but he um, he accepted a plea that allowed him to um, plead guilty to an amended charge of second degree assault, so class four class four felony in Colorado. Um, the family was in complete opposition. The family was in complete opposition. Um, his original charge was two two felonies and one misdemeanor. They were dismissed as part of the agreement. Um, his uh, potential maximum sentence went down from 30 years to eight years because the DA played ball. Remember, fucking DAs are cops too. Though you should be. So, was she, uh, she was white though? Yeah, uh, the cop or the woman? the The elderly woman was white. The cop was also white. They were all white. It's Colorado, Joe. They're all white. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, that piece of shit's gonna be at least doing a little bit of time. Um, and he's got a felony on the record, so fuck him. <sighs> yeah, the elderly woman was white. Um, oh yeah, who is um? Who's this cunt? Give me a name for this cunt. 
There we go. Um... So, remember, um, I know there's so many cycles. Uh, remember, uh, remember when the Ahmed Arbery case, Ahmed Arbery was the, the jogger. He was the black dude jogging and got hunted by some crazy fucking white pieces of shit. Um, we've now found out through the court records that prior to his arrest, um, Greg Michael, one of the men convicted, Greg Michael had 16 phone calls with the former uh, circuit district uh, district attorney, Jackie Johnson. 16 phone calls with the DA bef before he was arrested by um, not even them, right? It was after the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, I think, got uh, got involved. Yeah. Um, the DA and the one of the murderers straight up were just talking. And imagine that, that they didn't want to bring charges. Yeah. So, she's now a former DA. So we'll see, uh, seeing as she's a woman and no longer a DA, we'll see how much the uh, system protects her. That bitch may get thrown under the bus. We shall see. Um... Let's see. Oh, that's right. Um, uh, um, the 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 Moskva, the Moscow. Remember, a minute ago, um, when Russia's um premier, fl the Russia's flagship, absolutely didn't get hit by a series of missiles and absolutely didn't sink while it was under tow back to shore, um, because the sink uh, the because the uh, ship sank by accident, quote unquote. Russia is refusing to give war compensation to any of the uh, families oh, or survivors. Um, but yeah, the the family of the uh, Moskva uh, cruiser, uh, the crew, they get nothing because it was an accident, not an actual act of war. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. Two birds, one stone. It's that fucking simple. Uh Oh, Excel, yeah, I've seen. Um can Russia do anything, right? Uh they can steal pretty well. They can steal pretty well. Probably the compensation fund cupcake has been drained dry by some fucking kleptocratic oligarch. Um, oh, in the, um, in the ever continuing case of what would you do without cops? Um, here is Delmer Orlando Ortiz. Um, he's a dude in Texas who, um, well, he was dating a woman and she came home and found him in bed with her seven-year-old daughter. When he ran away, she ran him over with her, with her car. It was as simple as she was on 911. She was on, she was on 911 when she ran him over. They have the tape of the straight up. I mean, she was she was straight up fucking telling them um Oh, good on you caboose. This isn't popos by the way. I'm just talking about a fucking case that's hilarious. Uh good on you caboose. Um yeah, she um 
Yeah, she straight up was on the... She called them from her fucking house, and he's running down the street. And she's like, he's going to get away. He's supposed to be... You hurry up. You hurry up. Fucking, I just found my man, uh, whoever lives with me, naked in my bed with my daughter. Please hurry up. Please hurry up. He's running away. Please hurry. Ding, 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 ding. Vroom. He's supposed to be, but you better hurry up or I'm going to kill him. I'm going to fucking kill him. Please hurry. Please hurry. I'm fixing to kill him. Please hurry. Please hurry. Please fucking hurry. He's jumping the fence. He's fucking jumping the fence. Hurry. When seconds matter, cops are minutes away at best. That it's that simple. Nine one one call taker straight up asks, "Did you just hit him?" The woman went on to explain that he jumped in front of her car, and that she hit him. Yep, he jumped right in front of me. Just fucking tire tracks up on the fucking curb into a lawn over a fucking fence and shit. Jumped right in front of me, officer. What what good were the cops in that situation? They didn't prevent the the abuse. They didn't fucking stop him. They didn't fucking they didn't arrest him. Dude, she had to put park her car on top of the dude to make sure he didn't go anywhere. Right? Like explain to me what good were the cops? Well, what did they do in that situation? They didn't even fucking do most of the reporting. Most of the fucking reporting was done by 911. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, that's not even the best part. Best, best. Forgive me, forgive me. F fucking, this is the most fucked up part, right? <sighs> Investigators were assigned to the case in March. In April, police attempted to interview the uh, uh, the abuser about his sexual abuse investigation, but he refu repeatedly refused to show up to the scheduled meetings. So not only did the cops not do anything, when it came down to actually doing, like, the investigation part of the investigation, like after all is said and done, they were nowhere to be found as well. They just let this dude walk. They just let this dude walk multiple times on a sexual assault investigation on a seven-year-old girl. So, yeah. Yeah, forgive me for thinking cops are not exactly the most useful entity in our society. Dude, the I, beast. Um, hold on, hold on. Isn't the isn't the like clearance rate? Yeah, it's two percent. It's two percent. Beast. The major crime clearance rate in the U.S. is two percent. Arrest for serious felonies is twenty-two percent. But the actual clearance rate for major, all major crime in the U.S. is 2%. Huh. Like, cops don't do anything. They don't do anything. They solve 2% of all major crimes. The arrest rate is 22%. But the clearance rate is 2 they're absolutely fucking useless. So, yay. Um, <laughs> Adam, there's a whole, there's some good cops though. I have a whole list of them. Um, I'm guessing it's the uh, fallen uh, uh, police officers, benevolent fallen, whatever fucking. Yeah, it's it's the fucking memorial page. Yes, it, dude. Have you told that joke like a thousand times? Um, because I'm pretty sure you've told that joke a thousand times, Adam. 
Like, I'm pretty sure you've done that joke like half a dozen times in this trip. Um, so, yeah. A person run over a pregnant woman. How, how pregnant? Because the Bible cares. The Bible cares how pregnant. How many weeks pregnant is she? Because um, even per the Bible, let's see, I have my quotes here. Life begins at birth. That'd be Genesis 2, 7. Fetuses are not persons. That'd be Exodus 21, 22 to 25. Fetuses should be aborted as proof of adultery. That'd be Numbers 5, 11 through 31. Um, God will rip open pregnant mothers to be. That's uh, 2 Kings 8, 12. How pregnant? Because just because a woman is pregnant doesn't mean shit, even biblically. As far as I'm concerned, uh, anything uh, 23 weeks and under, yeah, whatever. Twenty-three weeks is the average uh, period at which uh, sci uh, modern medicine considers a fetus to be potentially uh, viable, using modern medicine outside the womb. What what re what retardation are you on about? What about post-birth abortions? Nobody's doing post-birth abortions. Give me evidence of such. Fucking bullshit. Absolute bullshit. What about post-birth abortion? What about bodily autonomy? What about the uh, separation of church and state? What about the right to privacy? What about when I come knocking on your door and force you to get your fucking testicles snipped because masturbation could potentially lead to a loss of life? Like, what kind of fucking bullshit nonsense is this? I don't click random YouTube links fucking uh, fr uh, from morons. I want actual evidence from a published journal that there is th that we conduct such things because the only late term abortions that are generally conducted are usually generally conducted in Colorado because they're one of the only f uh, states that allow for such things. But late term abortions in the U.S. are only done under medical advisement for conditions that would already uh, lead to a um, a potentially unviable birth, as well as uh, death or great harm to the um, body of the uh, pregnant individual. So, he linked a video from Florida Family Policy Council of people talking. Figures. Um, Connolly House being occupied in Ireland for the last few days. You know what? I don't know about that, Zagarther. Thank you for bringing it my att attention. Let's go look. Is it Arthur? I was just say it was the Connolly was nineteen something 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 early nineteen twenty thirty. I don't fucking know, but yeah, like didn't it get stormed once before? Like, is it? Do you have anything, Zick Arthur? What you got um, on it now? I don't see much. Hook a brother up. I personally think that the same logic should be applied to any medical practice. If you don't wear your seatbelt, you don't get ER care. Um, if you don't get your COVID vaccine, then you don't get COVID treatment. Just, I'm just following the, the conservative playbook on this one um, because they're saying that, you know, I mean, you failed to practice abstinence and you got, you had sex. You now have to suffer any potential negative consequences up to and including death of the mother during pregnancy as a result of that. So I'm just following the same consistent logic and say that if you do not take preventative steps, then you don't get medical treatment for it. That's, that's. I, I'm just using the same internal consistencies of social conservatism of today. So, you know, yeah, 
And, and by the way, if you weren't driving the safest vehicle on the market, you were pretty much asking for, uh, for it as well. So we're going to need to look at those safety standards and insurance ratings and highway, uh, highway uh, safety board ratings of vehicles. Because if you choose a, lesser, uh, less, a less safe vehicle, then essentially what you're doing is asking for, uh, for that um, accident as well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need to check a few things before you receive any medical care in the future to make sure that you've done your due diligence and you've done everything possible to ensure that that doesn't happen. Because, you know, I'd hate to treat you as a human being otherwise. Nah, of course they don't have a fucking citation. Life is a continual process that began a billion years ago. Anyone driving a Mustang is exempt from medical care. I mean, automatically, clearly. Every sperm is sacred! I remember that line of um, Lewis Black's about how they, like, they must think that we fell asleep on a nuclear reactor and our brain has turned to goo and run out our ears. And then I speak to people like this. And I remember, oh shit, it really is like some people fell asleep on a nuclear reactor and their brain has turned to goo. Genesis 2-7, life begins at birth with the first breath. Okay, I was going to say, Conway House is an infamous house in Ireland that got, like, raided in 19... by leftist activists back then, too, right? Okay. Um, it's a group... what a group of activist squatters have called the former Sally Army. Um, that's what you guys call Salvation Army, right? Sally Army? Is that Salvation Army? Um, Salvation Army property that they've occupied to protest homelessness. It's genocide. If the miscarriages were caused by negligence, it's genocide. <laughs> Velhelm, women are made out of ribs, so are babies, everything is barbecue. Yeah, the Salvation Pricks, yeah, they're, dude, um, my grandmother fell in with them. Holy shit, they are fucking just absolute dog shit human beings. And the winner for not knowing what the word genocide means. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Fuck yeah. Can we get some of that adrenochrome too? You crack them right at the base of the skull from what I understand. Genocide is when I come. Again, I, I don't know why you guys argue science and medicine and math with morons. Do you think for a second that this, uh, where is he? This idiot right here actually has any degree of scientific or mathematical literacy? Seriously. They don't even have biblical literacy. They're just an idiot. They're, they're somebody who wants authoritarian power over women, and they're using the most convenient position to do so, arguing for the unborn. The unborn, the easiest group to argue for. The unborn are a convenient group of people to advocate for. They never make demands of you. They're morally uncomplicated. Unlike the incarcerated, addicted, or chronically poor, they don't resent your condescension or complain that you're not politically correct. Unlike widows, they don't ask you to question the patriarchy. Unlike orphans, they don't need money, education, 
or childcare. Unlike aliens, they don't bring all that racial, cultural, and religious baggage that you dislike. They allow you to feel good about yourself without any work at creating or maintaining relationships. And when they're born, you can forget about them because they cease to be unborn. You can love the unborn and advocate for them without substantially challenging your own wealth, power, or privilege, without reimagining social structures, apologizing, or making reparations to anyone. They are, in short, the perfect people to love if you want to claim you love Jesus, but actually dislike people who breathe. Prisoners, immigrants, the sick, the poor, widows, orphans, all the groups that are specifically mentioned in the Bible, they all get thrown under the bus for the unborn. Pastor David Barnhart. They are tech support. They are. It's a cop-out. It's a political cover. It's manipulative. It's gaslighting. Later, Dig. Take care of yourself. It's gaslighting. Oh, so you're anti-death penalty. You're anti-war. I'm sure, right? You, you're for the dismantling of the military-industrial complex. You're for prison reform. You're for police reform. You're for the elimination of the death penalty. You're for early childhood uh, developmental funding. You're for all of these things, right? For sure. You definitely, because you're so pro-life that you, you most assuredly are for social welfare programs that prevent the, uh, those that can't help themselves from slipping into uh, uh, preventable circumstances and dying from these things because you're so assuredly pro-life, right? This isn't just an absolute bullshit cover for your, uh, your wanting to be a misogynist piece of shit. Nonsense. How are you doing, my man? How was your stream? How many morons did you have? You <laughs> Um, how are you doing, my man? Three ball at the buzzer. Uh, what do we got? Um, <sighs> oh, nonsense. Glazy. Um, I'm looking down the barrel of my very life being criminalized. I've already seen a trans kid get arrested by cops today. Um, and I lived in a world where being gay was illegal and they are coming for me. Kai's speech from February does not extend into genocide. And I've already lived through one genocide of gay people in my life. I refuse to live through another one. In the words of the Jewish diaspora, never again. This was a step too far. This was the gloves coming off, Glazy. They don't deserve kindness. They don't deserve empathy. They are actively looking to do harm and cause harm to women, to queer people, to the vulnerable. No. When someone is beating you senseless, they don't get the benefit of the doubt. What they get is a baseball bat upside the fucking head because that's what self-defense is about. This is about self-defense at this point. These people are genocidal, murdering psychopaths. Sherman should have finished the job. But unfortunately, Lincoln was assassinated and now we have generations of inbred religious rednecks who are completely illiterate when it comes to most modern topics. And all they want is an authoritarian power grab so that they can have misogynistic control, patriarchal control over over half of the population, plus all of the knock-on benefits that come for authoritarian pricks when they do this sort of power grab, which is going to be the right to privacy, by the way, because you do understand that this extends way beyond just women's reproductive rights. The things that these are founded upon, the, con the constitutional issues that don't have deep historical roots in this country that Alito is alluding to are things like your right to privacy. Your right to bodily autonomy, your right to have a private discussion with your healthcare provider and not have the state intervene. That is what is at stake now. 
So, yeah, no, the gloves are off now. Now it's not about convincing. Now it's about defense. Now it's about establishing underground railroads. Now it's about establishing resettlement funds. Now it's about teaching the uh, teaching the the queer and women uh, uh, diaspora and population of this country to arm themselves because shit is getting real. I've lived through Matthew Shepard, right? I've seen fucking gay gay kids tied up to fences, beat to near to death, and then left to die exposed to the weather. Actually, Muff Cheese, the greatest increase in um, firearm ownership in this country in one single act was after the uh, Pulse nightclub shooting uh, in Florida. I know this because my family is deeply entrenched in the firearms industry. My stepfather has an FFL. We have a series of firearms academies and uh, ranges, uh, and I grew up training. So, lol, but in fact, um, the greatest single increase in LGBT firearm ownership was after the Pulse nightclub nightclub shooting, Uh, and it's been increasing ever since. Uh, And the firearms industry is more than happy to accommodate um, pink firearms, fucking rainbow flag firearms. They don't care. They're a bunch of capitalist, uh, capitalist pricks. They're in it for the profit margin. There is no actual, like... The gun culture behind the scenes is, do you want to own a gun? Cool, you're one of us. As long as you want to own a gun, you're one of, you're one of the gun people. That's, that's the only qualifier that's ever been. And oh boy, did the queers show up for, uh, for fucking gun ownership in this country. Yeah, I'm for it. I'm for it. And when government's small enough to reach us into uteruses, you right. Oh. Fabian Liberty is a uh, racist ethno-nationalist masquerading as something else. He self-describes as a Hoppian. Hoppa is a the um, professor emeritus of economics here in La- uh, Las Vegas, Nevada at UNLV. Uh, I'm more than familiar with the, the gentleman. Um, Hoppe, remember, Scott self-describes as a Hoppian. Hoppe um, states that um, there should not be uh, African migration uh, or um, there should not be an African diaspora allowed to emigrate to uh, Europe because it would collectively lower the IQ of Europeans. He believes that LGBT people are not rational actors, which, by the way, an economist who believes in rational actors is hilarious in today's day and age. But he believes that LGBT people are not rational actors and therefore should be discounted from any economic system. And under a libertarian state, which is hilarious of a concept to start with, he believes that they would, quote, have to be dealt with. Um, yes, I did, sweet. I did see that Paul J. Watson uh, was caught on tape ranting that all Jews should be eliminated. Isn't he the creator of the term new right? Scott Scott is a racist ethno-nationalist. Straight up. Also, he teaches his community to argue in bad faith intentionally. Um, hey, Gapunk. And I have multiple witnesses to him admitting that. Um, all, all so-called, so-called anarcho-capitalism is nothing more than right-wing libertarianism, which is a bad faith inorganic attempt to capture political ground and provide cover for shit, racist, and authoritarian position sets. That's it. That's all it is. I've spent 12 hours dissecting this bullshit. There's a YouTube playlist. It's that simple. Um, so... He can go fuck himself, too. Also, he can just go busy himself on hippy-dippy and embarrass himself even further because he's such a fucking idiot. Um, he also gets really butthurt when you ask him about praxeology a few times, but that's hilarious. Yeah, because he's, a, he's not an empiricist. Because he ascribes to that uh, von Mises... Um, school of thought because he he ascribes to that Austrian economic school of thought. They're anti-empiricism. They don't believe that data can ever uh, counter a theory. That's literally the foundation of all of that bullshit is that there is no empirical uh, methodology to counter their theory. Only theory can counter theory. 
which is insane. I will never go on Hippy Dippy for multiple reasons. One, Dylan Burns is a grifter fuck who's just nothing more than a fed. Um, two, I don't do panels. There's no point. There's no discourse that occurs on a panel that's productive. They, they aren't debates, even though people call them debates. They aren't debates. Hi, I grew up with classically structured debates. I've done multiple iterations of them in my life. Um, no. There's no reason for me to go there. Oh, and three, I have to share the panel with fucking morons who don't know what they're talking about at all. Right? Like, why am I going to sit next to fucking Scott? And listen to him ramble on about how we can eliminate the state at the same time as replacing the state with airsats uh, and airsats statism. uh, Just only now it's privately controlled and now super racist, right? Like, what's the product? What's the productivity value in that? I am. I'm good. I'm good now. And yeah, Dylan Burns can go fuck himself. You have to understand what we how we define it. I don't care about growing the channel and destroying them is some weird egotistical debate bro shit that you apparently have let infect your psyche. Yeah, you see, that's a capitalist modality of operation. You're like growth, growth and destruction. You little PP get hard at that too. There's, there's better ways to do things. And I refuse to engage that manner. Dylan Burns' panels were Jerry Springer level shit shows that existed purely to platform the most idiotic far right asshats to increase Dylan's viewership. Says Geo. Yeah, basically. Uh, uh, that ANCAP read through is amazing. I'm still working through it all. Thank you, God Punk. Yeah, it's, dude, it's it's 12 hours of material dissecting right libertarianism and, and so called ANCAPism. There's no point. Uh, like, the, I, I refuse to engage with fucking ANCAPs. There, dude, ANCAPs are persona non grata in the com- community. Absolute. Like, I refuse to share space with somebody who is literally trying to invade my, my living room. Right? Like you come home. My the clearest thing I always say is like you come home. Um, did you see that Dylan's think saying he's thinking about quitting and going into politics? <gasps> no, really? Dylan has been trying to prop up his political career this entire time. Oh my god. I'm shocked. Guys, did you know that Dylan Burns has been attempting to fluff his political career this entire time? Wow. I'm I'm so caught off guard. Um oh j- dude, AJ, I really did hurt his feelings. When he heard that recording, when he heard that stream of me fucking talking shit about him, his immediate was he started sending out messages saying, who is this fucking guy? I want to debate him. I want to fucking debate him. Get him on my air. He immediately, his ego was so hurt. His ego was so hurt. His his first reaction wasn't even dealing with the fucking, um, with the guy who was talking the most shit about him. The most, the biggest reaction he had immediately was me. The anarchist who straight up called him out as the piece of shit uh, neo-lib fed that he is. Yeah. Oh, and a grifter. Because he is a grifter. He's a grifter. He's a grifter. As evidenced by him looking to uh, increase his political career based off his streaming. He is. So. Ah. Uh, why is there this assumption that winning or losing a debate means someone's right or wrong on the subject? Um, so much pride tied up with being in debate, bro. Me thinks. Chew toy. It's all about the ego, man. It's always about the ego. It's always about the ego, man. Oh, he's he's a fucking grifter fuck who who's just a neolib piece of shit. He, in the words of Martin Luther King Jr., right? He's basically responsible for all the evil of the world. That's what that ideology is. Right. It's, you know, I, I increasingly have little problems with the, the, the clan member and more so with the moderate white liberal. Right. It's the moderate white liberal. That's the problem in this world. 
It's the comp, the people who compromise with genocidal maniacs. It's the people who compromise with author authoritarian shitheads. It's the people who compromise with fucking actual Nazis, right? One side goes, I uh, no genocide. The other side goes, I want a genocide. And then then the f fucking neolib jackasses like fucking Dylan Burns of the world go, well, come on guys, we have to compromise. How about a little genocide? And then fucking the far uh, the actual far left anarchists and the like go, no, no fucking genocide. And then the fucking uh, centrist moron piece of shit right wing uh, wanna be right wing grifter fucks like Dylan Burns, and then the actual right wing psychopaths like Nick Fuentes and all those idiots, fucking come out. See, intolerant left, they refuse to compromise. Yeah, yeah, I don't compromise with authoritarian pieces of shit. I don't compromise with genocidal maniacs. I don't compromise with uh, theocrats. I don't compromise with oligarchs. I don't compromise with kleptocrats. Yeah. Yeah, so what? Uh, stapling your ego to a set of ideas is pretty much always a route to being more and more in error over time. I think so anyway, says Chuchuan. I don't disagree. Um, Dylan has no enormous potential, Peaky. I'm sorry. Dylan is bound and determined to be a tool of the system. Um... It's called the fallacy of the middle ground. On many issues, the right answer does not lie somewhere in the middle, and concessions and negotiations only work with someone who's acting in good faith. Fuck authoritarians. We don't, exactly, GL. Um, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Um, yeah. I, I absolutely refuse to concede any ground to these jackasses. Um, and, you know, in the words of the Reverend Dr. Barbara Brown Taylor, um, you know, professor of religion... <laughs> um, in Georgia, of all places, Jesus was not killed by atheism or an uh, nor anarchy. He was brought down by law and order, allied with religion, which is always a deadly mix. Beware those who claim to know the will of God and are used uh, are prepared to use force if necessary to make others conform. All right, she literally straight up said it wasn't atheism and anarchy that killed Jesus. It was fucking religion and law. Right, it's always been this shit. Cops hung Jesus on a cross. They did. Cops hung Jesus on a cross. Oh, hang on. Give me a sec. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely refuse to give ground to these assholes. It, People like Dylan Burns have got us to the place where we are today. Seriously. People are... When the first mother dies of a bullshit back alley abortion, that blood is on Dylan Burns' hands. You know that, right? Every liberal in this land, every Democrat, every compromise, every person who said, well, maybe we can meet them halfway. Maybe if we just vote the right people in, we can change things. They're all guilty. That blood is on all their hands. I, I, I refuse. I refuse. Like I said, in the words of the Jewish diaspora, never again. I've witnessed one genocide of my people in my lifetime. I refuse to witness another. Isn't Hippy Dippy where, um, where Rabbit got fucked over or was that something else was that the surfs it wasn't hippy dippy was it it was surfs i can never keep the jackass liberal pieces of shit straight it was the surfs okay i can never keep these pieces of shit straight not hippie but still hosted by dylan okay maleficarum thank you that's probably why it's crossed um Lance did that to Rabbit. Yeah. What? Yeah. Fuck all these people. Fuck them all. 
I have zero tolerance for them. Yes, the Lorenz. The can we? I, I know the the internet has like descriptively decided they're going to use this word, but can we not describe these things as debates? Because they aren't. I really, really, I want that word back so desperately. The Lawrence Southern debate. Yeah, like, can we always put it in air quotes or something? Or can we? It's just, they're not. They're not debates. <laughs> they're not anything like a debate. Oh, it drives me, it drives me mad. <laughs> Brainwashing attempts. Ironically, I found you from the search raid. Hey, fuck them. <laughs> the welcome latte, though, but fuck them. Uh, Surf's on the side of Rabbit. It was Dylan who put the uh, put them up against Lauren and Con- Connor points or counter mark or whatever. Um, <laughs> rodeo shows. I kind of like that, Peaky. Rodeos. Okay, fucking the Lauren Southern Rodeo. Uh, micro celebrity PvP. <laughs> Which one's um? Which one is um, milk a part of? What's um, milk from PA? What 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 is he tangentially associated with? I can't keep any of these grifter fucks in, uh, straight in my head anymore. They're all just merged into one. Just I don't know. <sighs> don't tell Destiny about the Lauren Southern Rodeo. He might get excited. Uh. Debate entertainment, sports entertainment. I'd say I just want to debate uh, entirely. Um, song. I'm okay with platforming Nazis, but you got to make them. Um, you got to actually fucking do a number on them. If you let a Nazi get up on your air and make good points, that's on you, right? If you let a Nazi on your air and they walk away humiliated, okay. Right? Like, fucking, when I put the fucking um, moron on my air that was, like, straight-up white nationalist, white supremacist, right? And ended up getting him to, like, rage quit because Jesus was a Jew and shit like that. Fuck him. Right? That's that's hilarious. Right? Absolutely made fun of that dude the whole way through. Fucking white people invented everything. What have you invented? Nothing, huh? Right? Like, like you're not superior. How are you? You know, yeah, you're inferior. Like, fuck it. If you're going to you batter them all about their, their face and body. Uh, no, ex, uh, no, uh, no following S. It's just exclamation sub. Um, here, let me. There you go. Um. 40k's fascist problems like the one with Starship Shoot for Film House basically mean I'd see the satirization of dumbass machismo and fascist self-contradictions and evil and think, yeah, this is super cool. Um, yeah, I dude, I at this point I would just get rid of 40k. Dude, 40k is creating more fascists than it is entertaining people, I think, at this point. I'm I'm sincerely. Like, fuck that entire franchise. Oh. So, yeah. I'm I'm no, 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 no quarter shall be given in today's day. Um, they are, I mean, Louisiana is looking to, um, Louisiana is literally looking to create felonies out of, uh, people with IUDs. You get an IUD, you could catch a felony for murder in Louisiana based on the wording on their new law. And if you think for a second, that they won't trial run that. And fucking, oh, that won't happen. And then, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Comet, for sure. Yeah. Felony equals a loss of right to vote. At least in shittier states. In Vermont, you can vote from jail. Yeah. In more functional states, that's not a thing. So go to Vermont and, yeah, you go to jail, you get your fucking voter roll in, in jail. Like, yeah, you can still vote from jail, even. But yes, in the many, many shittier states in this union, yes, that's exactly the end. Uh, well, one of the end game. That's I, This is the thing. There's no singular end game. There's a whole host of knock-on consequences of this, these policies that will benefit a whole bunch of assholes. Uh... 
Uh, I was going to paint, but I found out that all my larger canvases is damaged and need to be repaired first, and I don't really want to use small canvas for what I'm planning. I'm sorry, Crimson. Uh... Kaiser, how many times do I have to cover this? Online problems are no longer just online problems. What is it about fucking Gen Z that doesn't understand that online, uh, like the millennials got this? How, how does a generation that grew up with the internet not understand that online problems are not online problems anymore? There's no such thing as online versus offline anymore. That you did a whole bunch of you need to start understanding that apparently. There is no such thing as online versus offline. Online has permeated our lives. What happens online affects offline. Do you think all of those fires during uh, during uh, the George Lloyd uh, protests, do you think all those protests just kicked off because nobody was online? Right? Did that... Right? None of that happened? The Trump presidency didn't happen because, like, y'all need to start coming to terms with this. There is no such thing as online versus offline anymore. It doesn't exist. Unless you're a fucking, like, you live in the backwoods of Maine, what happens online dictates what happens in the real world. So, y'all need to start wrapping your heads around this concept, apparently. I'm just fine. I'm just going to embroider till the glue dries on the canvas I'm going to use. Um... I, dude, it took me a second. I was looking at JKR there, and I'm like, who the fuck is JKR? JK Rowling. That's who. I was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is a JKR? Uh, t comment, to be perfectly honest, I've been waiting for it. It's been 50 years coming. It didn't It didn't happen quickly. Um, No worries, Aka. I just had to fucking wrap my head around it. Um... It's been 50 years coming. People just weren't paying attention, apparently. Uh, hell, that asshole from Kellogg's blame tweets on how badly the uh, they looked during the strike. Oh, good. Good, God Punk. I'm glad it made the rounds. Oh, no. Uh, song. They 100% they, they have the momentum. 100%. And there's no left in this country. There's no actual left. Dig. Fuck those people. It's not going to pass. Like, okay. So then just wait when it passes. And be like, it passed. What now, bitch? Well, they're not going to enforce it. See, that person, you, whoever you're talking to, Dig, will move the goalposts on you no matter what. Fuck talking to them. You need to just not. This is this is a point where you need to start carving people out of your lives. <sighs> We're in full regression. Yes, we are. The right wingers felt the momentum in the second Trump. Oh, oh no, they felt the dude. Did they been? It's been slow, but it's been sure, dude. Since since Reagan for sure. Since Reagan for sure. They felt a few, but a few turnbacks. Drip, 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 drip. Exactly, Aka. Yes, definitely since Reagan, it's just been getting worse. Um, I don't know. I don't do that kind of fucking speculative work comment. What plan do you think the GOP has in place for November? They had to have known this would be a shot in the foot and have prepared accordingly. I don't think it's a shot in the foot. I don't think it's a shot in the foot. Comment. Nope. I've been alive too long. I've been alive too long in this country. I don't think it's a shot in the foot. I think, one, Gen Z doesn't vote. Gen Z doesn't vote. They're the largest voting block. They don't vote. Um, they, we can get 30% of them to vote at most, right? Gen Z doesn't vote. So, um, 
Oh, Jesus. A bunch of shit, Kaiser, about the Federalist Society. Dude, they're fucking one of the puppeteers. They're one of the puppeteers. They've been around for a while. Um, GL, I t- covered this the other night. The spectrum starts when the first, f- when the stupid fish crawled out of the water and decided to breathe air, or when the fucking five required ele- uh, like elements for creating life fell from the sky on fucking meteors. The- it's a continuum. We can always fucking hash words, but the Southern strategy happened under uh, under the Reagan administration, and that's when the uh, the conservative, uh, the the fiscal conservative right and the social conservative right. Uh, of this country merged into a, a, a unified unit. That's where I start the start the clock. But again, you can move that goalpost anywhere. You could move it to the beginning of this country. You can move it to Europe. You can move it to the beginning of time. It really, at the end of the day, is just a semantical discussion at that point. Um, but for the purposes of easy discussion, this kind of starts in the Reagan administration. You could start it in the Nixon administration. You could start it in, you know, there's a whole bunch of places you could start it. Yeah, John Birch is still kicking around. That's true. Like, you, uh, yeah, pose, you could pick any fucking point in U.S. history. You could also point out that, like, you know, multiple critical parts. How they should have listened to Hillary. They should have fucking Obama should have got off his ass and did something. If we only fucking Gen Z had voted for fucking Bernie, fucking we could have fucking missed this. And there's there's a million of them. Young progressives don't vote. Yeah, no, I, I will make that distinction. Not even especially, uh, for as Kat points out, young progressives especially to caring voting. Yeah, no, no, no. Just young prog- young people don't vote. Gen Z doesn't vote. Gen Z doesn't vote. There's no, you can't get them out. So, like, they're just, they're, you might as well discount the Gen Z vote the same way we discount the X vote. Congratulations, you're a part of the 30%, Glazy. And you vote wrong. <laughs> you're you're helping empower those that would disempower us. So I, I you know that's why we need to tell them to Pokemon go to the polls. They're jaded against voting in a neoliberal world. Congratulations! Like, welcome to the fucking club. I'm an anarchist. Like, the last thing I want to have to do is vote. Right? Like, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I'm with Kat. It's a shitty excuse. Right? Like, a lot of us are fucking jaded. A lot of us are fucking, you know what? They don't even have an excuse to be that jaded because they haven't been around that long to really put up with this shit. I've been putting up with this shit for more decades than them. Fuck off. Right? Like, no. No. Get out and fucking do something. And not just vote. By the way, that is the bare minimum I'm asking out of, uh, out of people. Bare minimum. That is the, 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 the smallest fucking unit of measure here is to go down a stupid piece of paper and bubble in a handful of fucking circles, right? Like that is the literal least I'm asking. What they should be doing is creating dual power structures in their, uh, in their community. What they should be doing is creating mutual aid structures in their local community. What they should be doing is networking on a uh, regional and national scale. What they should be doing is organizing mass general strike protests. What they should be doing, blah, 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 right? Like, I, dude, Gen Z is, as Kat points out all the time, Gen Z is not as progressive as people think they are. They're not. The millennials are more uh, more progressive than Gen Z. Does Gen Z know how to use a number two pencil? Probably not. <clears throat> Do you ever banned someone on your account? Are you asking if anyone has ever been banned on this channel? Yes, people get banned, largely for TOS uh, violations. No, I... 
There's a thousand, thousand ways to, uh, to go about this. Sonia, I can only speak to the U.S. flavor of Gen Z. So I don't know. Um, I can't speak to any other version. And hey there, Carpe. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Unfortunately, Gen Z pushes such radical ideologies. Like what? They don't want to die in a fiery hellscape of climate apocalypse? Like what? They're tired of uh, late stage, end stage capitalism raping their future? Like what radical ideologies is Gen Z putting forth that makes the Democrats seem so batshit crazy to the rest of the country? Or could it be that the media manipulation and perception of that is what makes them seem batshit crazy to the rest of the country? Yeah, oh no, Gen X is literally nothing. Yeah, you, no one... No one takes Gen X seriously. They never have. They're, they're, they're a micro-generation. They don't have a population density to... Uh, a population count to make a difference. Carpe, you know it as well as I do. Nobody's ever taken Gen X seriously. Y'all check the fuck out, and I don't blame you. Coming of age during a Reagan administration? Are you shitting me? Like, I understand it. Like, I get it. Dude, if I came of age during Reagan, I'd check the fuck out too. Right? But no one's ever taken Gen X seriously. You guys don't... You're a minor population... As far as demographics go, you're a minor population bump. And you guys checked out. So, yeah. I throw in with the millennials. We welcome you uh, on behalf as, as an elder millennial myself, Carpe, and on behalf of millennials everywhere, we welcome you amongst our ranks. A three. Um Fucking Gen X. Sorry. Hmm. What about Gen R? You mean the multi generational cohort study out of the Netherlands? Because that's who Gen R is. Uh. God, I'm definitely happy to have Carpe among us as an elder one on myself. Uh, I didn't vote to welcome Carpe. Stop this dictatorship of the elder proletariat. Uh, so I'm going to get this uh, lawyer, class trader, class trader. Marcus is a lawyer, Cra class trader, class trader. Get him, secret police, get him, get him, secret police, get him. Um, Yo, the secret meeting of the diamond industry killers over here. We did it, folks. We did it, Reddit. Um, what's up, devil? Um, I mean, that's uh, GL. As far as I'm concerned, just growing up on the internet gave me the ability to adapt to the newer generations, but... You know, or at least the, the, the nuances, linguistic flow, and general tone of um, newer generational markers. There we go. <laughs> Marcus. Uh, I encountered the internet when I was 20, says Carpe. Well, you've done pretty well for yourself, given that you encountered it when you were 20. Um, God, you're broke as fuck yet. 
Um, the only time people complain about microaggressions being uh, acknowledged, in my opinion, is when minorities are vocalizing their disdain for being aggressed upon. Um, Alefa Karam, I'm a Zoomer. The only election I haven't voted in was a municipal election where I was sick. You're one of the you're one of the exceptions, Malefa Karam. Um, and where all four candidates were literally the same guy, different colors, like same platform, same messaging. They even looked like four identical quadruplets, but of different races. <laughs> I can just, I can see that almost as a sketch comedy, Malefic Aaron. Here's the white flavor. Here's the Hispanic flavor. Here's the black flavor. Here's the Asian flavor. Yeah. Um... Oh, fuck Chappelle's show. Dude, I miss old Chappelle back when he was funny. Now he's just going to end up stabbed by one of his own fucking crazy-ass fans. Did y'all see what that dude tried to stab him with? Fucking, it was a gun knife. It was a knife on the end of a gun. Like, it wasn't even a real functioning gun. It was like a fake gun with a fucking blade on it. That's what that's what that crazy ass Chappelle fan, yeah, also a MAGA Trumpy dude, like you know, it, it was it fucking, it was straight up some mall ninja shit, which I mean is in line with a with some dude that would be watching Chappelle these days. Mall ninja feels right for him these days. Um, oh yeah, he immediately tried to pin it on trans folk. Chappelle immediately tried to pin it on trans folk, even though it was some fucking MAGA Trumpy fan of his. Yeah. Credit to Chris Rock, though, coming out and fucking like, was that Will Smith? Chris is funny. He's funny. He knows how to be funny. Uh, also, Chris's brother is funny. Dude, Chris's brother right after the Will Smith thing, so fuck it. Come up here and try, uh, try some shit. I will smack the fuck out of Will Smith. Yeah. Hey, Sims, Sims Jeff, thanks for the follow. Uh, yeah, the, the vast majority of the population doesn't understand the policing issue. So, like, that is fucking what it is. Ugh. Mall Ninja just sounds like a bad MTV show. I mean, I'm just going to check MTV Mall Ninja. Okay, because I was like, has MTV D done a show called Mall Ninja? It feels like they might have done a show called Mall Ninja. It feels like some MTV shit. You're right. You're 100% right, uh, Crimson. Mall Ninja sounds like a Paul Blart spinoff. <clears throat> oh, what you got, Marcus? Uh, Marcus, you're going to want to look into the fucking um, trans kid that just got arrested in Tennessee for truancy because the, the school ostracized her. Like, fucking tried to put her in, like, a boys' class, p tried to put her in the boys' bathroom, shit like that. Um, and so she stopped going, and so the cops raided her house while she was live on a game stream. And literally the cops busted in and were like, are you winning? And then fucking handcuffed her and hauled her off to jail for truancy. So they're starting to, uh, starting to round up and arrest trans kids. It's always under the auspices of something else at first. Um, so, you know, that's, that's how authoritarianism works. Um, but yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to look at that one, Marcus. Um, also the Louisiana thing, Marcus is super problematic. The Louisiana fucking IUD fucking bullshit, uh, based off of, you're gonna want to look at, um, <clears throat> Uh, 
Bill eight a, uh, HB eight thirteen, Marcus in Louisiana. Um, its wording is straight up felony murder charges for somebody with an IUD. Somebody with an IUD can catch a murder charge because an IUD the the the, ver, the wording on the law explicitly states no person may knowingly use or employ any instrument or procedure upon a pregnant woman with the specific intent of causing or abetting the termination of life of an unborn human being and they define that as um anything from fertilization to natural death and by definition an IUD uh, can stop a fertilized egg from being able to implant itself due to the change, the alterations in the cervical mucus that it makes. So it, it can make it more difficult for a sperm to reach an egg, but it also can stop a fertilized egg from being able to implant itself in the wall. So an IU, IUD by definition meets their standard for a device that would an instrument that would uh, cause or abet the termination of life based on their definition of human life. So yeah, you're going to want to look at the Tennessee trans kid that got arrested for truancy, Marcus, and you're going to want to look at HB 813 in Louisiana as like some serious problematic legislation that's coming down the pike. Um, so Yeah. God punk, you really should. Yeah, you really should look into getting a vasectomy. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <clears throat> hey, caring villain. Um, I'll give you a I'll, uh, caring villain. I'll give you a present. This is, this is, this is, this is my present to you. Are you paying attention to me, caring villain? Because I know a lot of you fuckers come in here and then just argue with chat and you tune me out. Or if you if you're listening, I'll give you a present free of charge. I will, I will let you, um, I will give you the solution to solving the police, uh, the police violence issue with a free market solution. I'll let capitalism solve it for you. Right? This is real fucking simple. Okay. Two changes. Two. One, you get to do some union busting, get rid of the police unions, and then two, require all police officers to have privately held liability insurance. It, um, electricians have it, computer technicians have it, doctors have it, nurses have it, engineers have it, con general contractors have it. Every single police officer should be required to have private liability insurance and they should be unemployable without the private liability insurance. It's that simple. Let the free market solve it. If the insurance company has to pay out $10 million, lawyers have it. Yep. Uh, if the private, if the private insurance has to cover, uh, have to pay out $10 million, they're going to hike that fucking cops rates through the roof and they're going to be unemployable. It's that simple. Get rid of the police unions, private liability insurance. Why haven't they done that? Every other fucking position in this country has that. Everybody else has it. So please explain to me why that hasn't been done yet. Why, why, why are the taxpayers footing the bill for police malfeasance? Could it be that the system is intrinsically corrupt? Could it be that police actually function because progressives love unions. Are you retarded? We've been trying to get rid of police unions for ages. That's part of abolish the police is get rid of their union. Like that's, that's full on. You think progressives have been protecting police unions? Holy shit. You're delusional. Like you're literally delusional. My man, check yourself in 5150. You're like, might be a danger to yourself and others. Like you're sincerely like have reality solubility. If you think progressives have been defending police unions, holy fuck, you're dumb. Holy fuck, you're dumb, man. Wow. Like that's a huge part of abolish the police. 
is getting rid of the police union. You do, you do realize that they make a distinction between those unions, right? The public servant versus private industry union? Of course you don't. Nuance, nuance is for the educated. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I engaged and I tried to help. Holy shit. I, I, I don't even know why I tried to help you. Wow. That. Wow. Hey, y'all. The reason the reason the poli the police union and the police and the the qualified immunity is such a problem in this country is because po is pro because of progressives. Progressives has been have been protecting police all this whole time. Wow. I just wow. Jesus, that's fucking dumb. All right. Um let's see. Did I have any other headlines I wanted to cover? That's staggeringly stupid. Oh, oh, look, new research that shows abortion pills are safe to prescribe without in-person exams. Um, any um, any uh, type in particular? Oh, there's the new study. All right, pull the, pop the study. All right. Outcomes. The N is 3,779. Racially and ethnically diverse. Thirty-four states. So out of the 2,825 abortions tracked, only 12 resulted in a major abortion-related adverse event, with four being treated for ectopic. Um, Follow-up identified only nine who had pregnancy durations of greater than 70 days. That's, so wait, the... Major uh, would be 0.54 percent. It's not even. It's a half a percent possibility of um, uh, of um, an adverse event. Yeah, that's dude. That's aspirin. Aspirin is way beneath that level. Aspirin is way beneath. I'd be way above that level. The, the possibility of, I mean, I mean, aspirin and Tylenol, Tylenol especially, Tylenol is way above that as far as an ad, a major adverse uh, event possibility. It's way above 0.5%. Uh, so, oh yeah, of course they are. Okay, they're already trying to do travel restrictions because this is absolutely, um, oh, what's on the shirt? This is Supreme Brain. Uh, our Lord and Savior of uh, Bad Movie Night. Fridays, we do Bad Movie Nights on the Discord server where we get together and watch shitty movies. Is our Lord, uh, our, our patron saint of uh, Bad Movie Night, uh, Neil Breen himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Um, the alien Jesus hacker himself. I mean, you know. If, Neil, if Breen was going to adopt a, 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 a look, praise be unto Breen. Um... Yeah, dude, this is this is the the rates of at major adverse events for um, for abortion medication. Which medication in particular were they screening for? Uh, 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 stone or whatever the fucking, you know, the one that we know, we know about. Um, Mephepristone. Okay. That's, that's what they were doing. Um,
Ah, uh, dude, there's it's really rough to catch a ban on this channel, but you talk shit about Neil Breen, you may catch a ban. Or you'll probably get timed out by the community. I'll tell you that right now. Dude, we're big fans of Neil Breen in this place. So, you know, fair warning. Fair warning, you might catch a timeout if you talk shit about Neil Breen. Um, <clears throat> um, so, yeah, this is, this is a solid study. If anybody wants the fucking study, here it is. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Neil Breen. Praise Breen. Um, yeah, so abortion pills are sa safer than uh, Tylenol to prescribe without in-person exams. At least according to the newest research. I don't know what Jeff Holiday Movie Nights is. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Somebody fucking point Zippy to what needs doing. Uh, yeah, Zippy. Uh, I at the top of the show I explained he's he's got a bed now. He's check he's admitted to the hospital. Took fifteen hours to get him in, fully admitted and in, in a bed and room of his own. Took eleven hours and twenty seven minutes to get him a temporary bed in the ER. Best healthcare system in the world, everyone. Best healthcare system in the world. <sighs> oh, um. Do I have the actual? Yes. So, so um, some of the um, some of the uh, references that Alito makes in his draft decision reference Matthew Hale. For those of you who don't who know who Matthew Hale is, he was a 17th century jurist. Um, he is the he is the legal he is the legal source of husbands can't rape their wives. Um, he sentenced women to death as witches. Um, fucking, he stood out. He stood out as a misogynist in his time. Even um, he also believed in spectral visitations. So someone um, being visited uh, uh, in a dream by the the accused as evidence. Um, he believed in. He believed fucking dream ghosts were evidence. Um, Alito quotes him. Uh, he he references him um, as for uh, for a uh, uh, sort of a, a reference point of a, uh, a abortion and how it is thought of historically, right? Like yeah, like he uh, two treatises by Sir Matthew Hale likewise described abortion of a quick child who died in the womb as a great crime and a mis a uh, great mis uh, misprison. Uh, Alito writes in his his decision. He's he's literally quoting Matthew Hale, the guy who believed that you couldn't rape your wife, and he believed that dream dream ghosts were viable witnesses in a case. Yeah, that's dude. That I'm supposed to compromise with these fuckers. I'm supposed to find common ground. He. This motherfucker's quoting dream ghost motherfucker, right? Alito's literally quoting a motherfucker who believed dream ghosts were viable evidence in a case. A 
absolute shithole country tech support. So my ex was right when I said when she said I cheated in her dream. Yeah, basically. I wanted to see this too. I didn't look at this. Interesting. The Fourteenth Amendment specifically in, it excludes the unborn. The the deprivation clause for life, liberty, or property without legal due process and equal protection uh, clause doesn't apply to fetuses. It doesn't apply to the unborn. It specifically excludes them per its own verbiage. That's worth noting that the Constitution actually excludes the unborn. Hmm. Um, my dream ghosts say your dream ghosts are little bitches. Uh, Hale also advocated for waking spectral evidence, so dreams and hallucinations, which is fine. Oh, um, add another, uh, add another one to the uh, list, uh, to the pile of why Tennessee is an absolute shithole and should be avoided at all cost. Um, homeless encampments on public land will be a felony in Tennessee shortly. The biggest accomplishment carry, a carrying villain was done at the cost of insanely increasing premiums. We could have gotten that clause run through without handing over the entire fucking industry to the private uh, private into, uh, private insurance companies. The reason your health insurance is so insanely expensive today is because of those uh, uh, because of those compromises made in the ACA. Yeah, we got we got the uh, we got pre existing coverage, uh, pre existing condition coverage. Finally, but. It was because it was a sweetheart deal handed to the private insurance co uh, companies that our rates started skyrocketing immediately. Uh, but yes, Tennessee is, uh, so, what was that? Go Brocky Top? Good old Rocket Top. Um, let's see. To, to appeal an eviction in South Carolina, you now need a year's worth of rent. Um, Kansas is, of course, banning roommates. Uh, or at least one township in Kansas is doing the, uh, the roommate ban. Jesus fucking Christ. Looking at you nonsense. Um, Thank you. Oh, nope. Not what I want. The governor declined to sign it, but it's becoming law without his signature. It takes effect July 1st. <clears throat> it creates felony penalties for camping by homeless people in parks or on other local public properties. As long as a place is not designated for people to camp there, it is a felony punishable by up to six years. Um, and will include the revocation of an individual's right to vote. So, there we go. Fucking further criminalization of life in America. Uh, you know, capitalism. Totally not coercive, totally not authoritarian whatsoever. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ.
didn't I, um, where was that? Oh, I wish I had saved it. Um, I don't have it. Um, let me see if I can find it. There was, there was a great example of, um, hostile architecture. Is this it? Yes. Yes. So, yes, GL. So basically another legislation to shift another segment of society into legal slavery. A hundred percent. Uh, don't be a Rick. A Rick is somebody who sits in chat and just says things like no, wrong, bullshit, without ever providing a source, without ever providing some sort of logical or framework explanation for their statement. A Rick is somebody who is a Fox News level racist. Um, everybody can see is a racist, but does uh, but denies being a racist. Yeah, that's a Rick. Dedicated to the cruelty. Yes, sir. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I know. Who am I? Wilhelm, who am I timing out? I, I don't. Wilhelm, what the fuck did you just do? You redeemed a timeout, but racists drive race cars, right? <laughs> I'll get you your points back, Wilhelm. Jesus Christ. There we go. Game play hopscotch. I think I could sleep on that. My sleeping positions can get pretty weird. Oh, well, let's see. Hang on. You know what? Yeah, you could sleep on your side right down there. <clears throat> you could get the job done. Yeah, for sure. You could curl up here. You can definitely do a little like, U bend here. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. you crimson <laughs> crimson I don't even know if I have defiance on the desk anymore I, you know, yeah, the pro-life people, what it drives me up, fucking you just adopt. Fuck, you can give the baby up for adoption. They never have fucking adoption. Uh, they never have adopted kids. Never. Never. What is this? Okay. I don't even know what to fucking say this, but you know, we don't, we engage in such high levels of fucking propaganda. It's fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> They've never been through the system themselves either. Yeah, dude, me too. For sure. For sure. And if they do adopt, they'll like to adopt far more. They don't, they, yeah, if they do, they never do though. They never do.
did you notice the Louisiana thing criminalizes in vitro fertilization too? I didn't notice that. Good. Um, in vitro is going to go the way of the dinosaur for these red states. In vitro f throws out millions of um, like 1.3 million or something like that fertilized uh, embryos per year. Dude, in vitro is going to go the way of the dinosaur for all these fucking red staters. There's a lot of fucking straight, uh, uh, straight couples that are going to find out the hard way that, in fact, these laws affect them too. I can't wait for them to start... Um, bombing abortion uh, uh, abortion clinics and um, shooting doctors up in church rectories like they used to. You see, the OG domestic terrorists for my, my generation, for my lifetime, were the um, pro-life anti-abortion people. Dude, they, they are the OG domestic terrorists. Dude, they... they fucking pipe bombed shit they shot up doctor's offices they fucking shot up a uh, they fucking went into a church and shot a uh, an obstetrician there in his church rectory yeah i can't wait for that to come back that's gonna be great fucking because you know they'll do it these people are fucking batshit insane you show me somebody who's like yay abortion and en is ending i'll show you somebody who will shoot up a doctor's office 100 percent like they did back in the day, 80s and 90s. Yep. Uh, Marcus McVeigh had some feelings on abortion too. Race and abortion. Race with uh, uh, McVeigh was technically in their camp. Uh, so. Rip Dr. Tiller. Yep. Um, the guy who did the Atlanta Olympics bombing. Not the actual guy they fucking drugged through the fucking papers and blamed for it. Was it Richard something or other? I forget that guy's name. Um, the guy who did, but the guy who actually did the Atlanta Olympic bombings did bombings at an abortion clinic too. Abortion clinics too. I believe his name was Eric Rudolph, the bomber. Yeah. Richard Jewell. Yes, hero. Richard Jewell. Poor guy. Guy tried to stop a bombing and ended up being blamed for the bombing. It's about right for America. It's about right for America, though. So. Oh, you see, DeSantis got himself uninvited to uh, the Jewish Heritage Museum in New York. Apparently, there was some event up there, and he was on the roll for it. And somebody was like, uh, "You know, DeSantis is on the like guest list for the Jewish Heritage Museum," and they're like, "No, he's not." They publicly uninvited his ass. They're like, "He is not welcome in our facility." He does not align with the museum's values and its message of include inclusivity. We hereby rescind his invitation. Uh, Trixie, he's 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 in a room. He's in a bed. He's at least he's got a team. So thank you for asking. But it took eleven hours and twenty seven minutes to get him a temporary bed, and fifteen hours to get him a room and a bed. So sad. Amazing American healthcare. I'm told all about constantly about how it's the best in the world. Uh, um, and, um, shout out to, um, um, shout out to, uh, um, Edinburgh 
uh, fucking activists in Edinburgh. Um, Edinburgh Anti-Raid Network. Um, quarter to six, the first call-outs begin. An immigration raid van spotted outside a popular restaurant at the center of Edinburgh, and people started calling for assistance. Um, they, they actually have... Um, they, they have a network. Uh, by 7.30, 200 people had gathered, more flooding in continuously. The vans surrounded and blockaded on all sides. The police informed the immigration cops they did not have the power, nor the, uh, they did not have the manpower to disperse the crowd. By 9 p.m., they fuck off. Yep. Um... The, the officers agreed to de-arrest the workers they had already detained and leave in their vans. So, I'm just saying, take an example. Take an example. You can, you can make change. You can make change. Fucking, like I've said, 100,000 people versus 500 cops is literally not a conversation. Even with armaments, even with an AR-15, even with a 40 mil grenade launcher. 100,000 people versus 500 cops is literally not a conversation. Right? 300 people versus, like, a couple of SWAT teams, still nothing. They just back the fuck out. They're like, oh shit. Self-preservation takes, takes precedency for them. They, they don't give a shit about... At the end of the day, um, they don't give a shit about that fucking migrant worker. They just want to go home to their bullshit wife and beat her, right? Like, that's, that's, that's the end of the day. All a cop wants is an easy fucking paycheck, a donut in, uh, in, on the way, and to go home and beat their wife. That's it. Or kid. Or kid. Remember, 40% admitted to spousal abuse on a regular basis. 40% admitted to it. Okay, so chances that a number is closer to 65 or 75, something in that, uh, that territory. But either way, yeah, make their job difficult and they'll just fuck off. Uh, I mean, Marcus, I've seen it. If, I've seen a few videos of that kind of thing. I don't know if I saw the one you were uh, you were talking about. So. I can't say for sure without seeing it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can, you can do it. My first experience with cops outside my home, guy shot up a Walmart and we hid in the parking lot. Cops sat and laughed in their car. Dude was shooting while they were sitting. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. Um... See, that's funny how... Um... It's funny how, like... During the January 6th incident, there was just those lower gates there. And you remember the cops opening the gates for the, um, we'll be generous. We'll be generous and say protesters to uh, cross. You notice how when it came to this issue, though, they put up the toll fences with interlocking and base plates, um, you notice how they're protecting the seats of power for this one, though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen this one. Go. No. The thoughts I have when I watch these videos are just so TOS.
Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, dude. Do it. Do it. Dude with the skateboard. Go for it. Dude with the skateboard. Go for it. And he's gone. And now you've got your backs against the wall. Now you're left surrounded by an angry mob. Oh, well, Kat, we were, I mean, were you here? I don't know, you check in and out. We, we were talking about the Scottish anti-immigration raid. Um, two, three hundred people surrounded in immigration arrest, and they just forced, uh, they forced them into um, de-arresting the, the immigrants they had arrested. Yeah, Edinburgh. Just uh, the like last night, day before, um, they have an anti uh, they have an anti immigration like raid uh, anti uh, anti immigration raid um, network in Edinburgh. So they um, they just the the call goes out when the vans roll, and people start amassing. And yeah, two hundred two to three hundred people just swarmed the immigration uh, vans and forced them to de arrest the immigrants and kicked them the fuck out. Like the, the cops. Yeah. And they're like, no, that's not how this is going to play. So yeah, that's how we ended up there. Marcus brought that one up. Um, Oh yeah. 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 Dig the fucking <sighs> fucking with the handcuffs. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, up punk. Take care of yourself, and you know if you got. I know people have extended, but if anybody, if you need to talk to anybody, there's plenty of people in the community, right? Take care of yourself, man. Cat, I'm telling you, man, you can't keep doing what you're doing. You really can't, man. You took too many hits early on in life, and now you're just you're just tempting fate. You're just tempting fate, man. You need to find something with less impact. I know it's still early, and you're like, but I have, you know, my 20s and useful effort. Dude, you burned it already. You, you need to start having a tough conversation with yourself. Um... So, has everybody seen the 109 cases of child hepatitis in this country? We, we don't know what's going on. The CDC is investigating. There's been 109, 109 cases of severe hepatitis in children with five deaths so far, and we have no cause. 90% of children who have come down have to be hospitalized. 14% end up with liver transplants. Five dead. Um, they, we, we don't know what's going on. Um, no, 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 no. 25 states, Zippy. 25 states. Uh, they're doing, uh, Astral, they're doing an adenovirus um, inquiry, but we don't know yet. Like, only half of the kids had a confirmed adenovirus infection. So that can't be the primary cause. They don't know what the actual cause is at this time. We don't know. Uh, no, okay, C Caboose, what you're thinking of is like hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, D, and E, I believe, um, but 
some are spread by virus. Some are spread, uh, are gained through alcoholism. Hepatitis is an inflammation of, uh, of liver tissue. Um, so yeah, that's, that's hepatitis isn't necessarily the, a, a virus. There's, there's virus driven hepatitis. Um, but yes, there's, there's E, um, it, that would be HEV, um, uh, uh, the hepatitis E virus, um, zippy, um, it's fecal oral, I believe. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we can't, dude. Fucking the CDC. <laughs> fucking, we're up to we're up to five deaths and 109 cases so far. We we yeah we don't know. Yes, they're coming down with potentially non-viral hepatitis. Um. So. Yeah, just some kids dropping dead. You're just like, I don't know. <sighs> I Again, the, the the Center for Disease Control is investigating it. There's no amount of us speculating in chat that will be able to surmount what the CDC is doing. <laughs> so at this time, we don't know. We don't know. But yeah, there's 109 cases that we know of so far. Uh, yes, maybe one of, the, one of the Alito ghosts will tell us. Fair enough. In my professional opinion, it's from the juice boxes. <laughs> um, yeah, we just don't know at this time what it is. Some other non-CDC guys are also investigating. There's been a surge in the EU too. Great. I mean, you know. Yeah, that is true. Dig, that is true. With the virus stuff, get get ready for uh, with the climate change stuff, get ready for more plagues. In my dream spirit driven opinion, there's a transphobe that's been kid raping. <laughs> do you have do you have a name tech support? Is it Justice Alito or Justice Thomas? How is is the ghost speaking to you now? That was the, Glazy, that was the sixth warmest winter on record. Glazy, Glazy said it was pretty cold this winter, like in the 60s. That was the sixth warmest winter on record. It, for some areas, it was the hottest, uh, uh, hottest winter on record for 2021. Several locations had their hottest. It is uh, according to according to the Midwest Regional Climate Center, they qualified it as a mild winter. Um. Oh, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is the 2020 to 2021. Hold on, let me get you more updated. I have it. Here's OSHA, uh, OSHA, uh, um, fucking Noah. Sorry. Jesus Christ. 
Winter was the sixth hottest on record for U.S. Uh, NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information. Oh, you know what? Fuck yeah. Just, just have this link. Y'all should probably have this. Holy shit. Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, cool. Uh, it's because the Midwest doesn't track fucking uh, Florida. Nobody gives a shit about Florida. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I love data sets. Oh, that's a 404. Boo. Boo, I say. Um, cool. I'm going to save that. Uh, dear family was telling me it's going to be really cold this winter. It's the cold part of the multi-year cycle. I'll double back on that. Yeah. Uh, not to mention Florida's going to be underwater eventually. No need to track it. That is true. That is true. Let's see. Twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two was one of the warmest, driest on record. For record keeping pur purposes, meteorologists and climatologists define winter as the three month period from December through February. Oh, this is via. This is via Fox even. Oh, this is hilarious. It's some fucking local Fox News. Ah, uh, that looks like Florida. It, it's, it's, it, that's, that's an edge. That looks like an edge of Florida right there. Uh, well, congratulations. This is the 2021 to 2022 weather uh, data, Glazy. So your anecdotal assumption about it being pretty cold this winter was literally the opposite. Literally wrong. Just literally wrong. It was the warmest on record for you. So, like, take basically take what you thought and just flip it on its head, and now you have the correct data. And, I mean, we know it can be trusted because it's fox weather. How many of those are red states? Pfft, all of them? Just all of this? This is just all of this? It is true. Nonsense. You can only trust the groundhog weather. That's true. It's 100% true. No, Atlanta is a blue city. Georgia is a red state. See, here's the thing. 
remember, it's not blue versus red state. It's ultimately urban versus rural. So what you're facing there is that, like in Nevada, Las Vegas is a blue city. We run this state. The rest of Nevada is red as red can be. But there's more of us in Las Vegas. So we're, we're purple. But as a result of this, we, we vote blue. Like a Nevada leans blue. Because Las Vegas. Because we don't put up with fucking idiot rednecks who don't understand basic science and math. Because I hate to break it to you. Have you seen these buildings that get built in Las Vegas? It requires science and math to build them. The people who construct and run Las Vegas are actually scientifically literate. They're mathematically literate. They have high STEM degrees here. We have lots of fucking people who are capable of building and maintaining, right? So Las Vegas is fundamentally blue, but you step one foot outside the city and you got a pretty mouth on you, boy. They still use cubits, though, right? For sure. Science and math are a gambler's best friend and worst enemy, but harnessing it is the game. Oh, fucking... I like my mustard. I like mustard on my biscuits. Um, uh, Dig, I don't know whether Lombardo will get votes or not. We'll see. We'll see. We got a lot of retirees here that we're constantly embattled with. We got a lot of old people, and old people are the bane of existence at this point. You show me somebody over the age of 65, and I'll show you somebody that probably should have died 10 years ago. Um... They're, dude, they're holding us back. They're holding us back. So, I know a lot of them are our parents and grandparents, guys. Get over it. They need to die. Their time is done. There's new shit that they won't accept. It's time for them to go. It's just the way it is. Sorry, Pop Pop, but time to go. Uh... My dad's 65. Time to stop voting. Mm -hmm. Cold Wars wrecked the brains of our elders. It did. Good game, fam. One love. Um, Thomas for the economy's sake. It'll be easier on him. Can mine stay? Thanks to the California economy, I'm still financially dependent on mine. Caboose, two words, life insurance. Um, it's true these boomers are on the worst. Uh, are the worst. On Wednesday, I went to a thing and one of the boomers thought she could participate via Zoom and was mad she couldn't hear people chatting by the snacks. Sounds about right. Sounds about right, Zippy. Yes. Yes, Akka. Abbott was fine with it. Dude, Republicans are fine with it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, like, the, the Republicans are fine with sacrificing disabled people, elderly, all at the altar of capitalism for reopening the economy, right? So, sorry. I'm just performing the same utilitarian calculus with their same ruthless efficiency. I wonder if we could get boomers banned for being boner killers. Um, Children of the Corn had some solid points. Kai, unironically. I mean, look, it did. Um, see, uh, Marcus, I'll fucking take that a step further. 
Logan's run had some solid points. I mean, not everything in Logan's run was a was a was a was a mistake. I think there was some solid logic behind what they were doing. Now, now watch the children in chat not know what Logan's run is. Even Zippy, Jesus Christ, Zippy. Um. some solid points uh, that Florida is not the most diverse state in terms of personality we have fucking crackhead meth head morons everywhere that, that create an element of chaos that you're so fond of glazy yeah it, it's going to be it's going to be the boroughs of New York or LA Crystal, I know Logan's run from a reference in Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Mine is like an 80s reference. Know your audience, old man. Logan's run is a better movie. I mean, it is compared to your 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 state. L.A. probably has a gr higher GDP than all of Florida. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it 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 L.A. is com comparable to your entire state. It's like basically like a. What, a trillion GDP? Yeah. You're literally within... Dude, LA is within striking distance of Florida's GDP as a whole. Holy shit. Yeah, if we took California, California is larger than most economies on a global scale. Oh, yeah, I've, I saw this earlier today as well. Yeah, states with a smaller population than Los Angeles County. So uh, uh, Florida has a larger um, fucking population count, probably by a small margin, though. Um, Florida population. What you got? Okay. Uh, LA Metro. Holy shit, it really is within striking distance. LA is comparable to Florida. LA is legitimately comparable to Florida. Then you owe somebody a billion dollars if you want Disney gone. You owe somebody a billion dollars. Dude, that'd be hell. Dude, Vegas is champing at the bit waiting for Florida to be go full buddy retard on this one. Dude. Vegas is literally just sitting here with their fucking just twiddling their fingers like <laughs> Yes, please lean on them even more Lean on them even more, please you're our only competition for for tourism in the entire nation And even then we're still number one. We're we're still number one Vegas kicks the shit out of you even still, but we're looking to take some more. No, uh, tech support Vegas, Vegas tourism bureau has gone on the record and said, if, uh, if Florida wants to be hostile towards the LGBT plus community, we welcome them in Las Vegas. Vegas has straight up 
like we're we're on board dude we're we're positioning ourselves to have the sports teams to have the facilities to have everything necessary to literally usurp global fucking uh global dominance in tourism and and we're not a bunch of bigoted rednecks so it's a bonus right like yeah Yeah, we when you come to Vegas, you don't have to worry about fucking some cracked out fucking meth head alligator wrangler fucking throwing an alligator in through your fucking window while you're trying to get some McDonald's or some shit, right? Fucking worst you have here is some uh, Elvis impersonator trying to get you married or some shit. <clears throat> yeah, like we have plenty of sand and sun too. Also, we allow for more shit. We're far more, we're far more libertarian than Florida could ever be. Oh yeah, our educational system is shit, Glazy. But we at least don't fucking convict people of like living their lives. We're, we're not an authoritarian shithole like you. Your, your state is garbage. I don't care. I don't care if you're number one in education. It's all, it's all premise. Uh, the entire premise is based upon your higher education, not your lower education. Your lower education is garbage, but your higher education drags your average up. So congratulations. But I would rather live in a place with lower educational standards and less uh, authoritarian biblical assholes trying to literally shoot me in the face because I'm trying to live my life. So says the man living in a sinking state. Also, we're number one in uh, water conservation research on the globe. We have some of the most advanced water conservation methodologies in the planet. We're far and ahead because of that harsh natural environment. Dude, this place is going to exist. We've already um, we've already got the uh, federal government to agree to open some of the dams. We're refilling some of our uh, water facilities here. Yeah, we have to. Caboose, you're right. We have to. I literally said, are you fucking dumb and deaf, Glazy? Holy shit, man. I literally said we are. Of course, we're number one in infrastructure. So that means the apartment complex that you live in won't just fall down on you looking at you, <clears throat> Glazy. Looking at you, Florida, um, fucking our economy is far more stable than yours based on your own rankings, based on your own rankings. And we are known for our libertarian laws. We are known for allowing people to live their lives as they see fit, as long as they have the currency to do so. Yeah. So... At least you can, um, at least in Las Vegas, you can sleep in your apartment complex without it uh, falling, uh, can, uh, pancaking down on you in the middle of the fucking night, like happens in Florida more than once. What's wrong with killing? The same week that you had that apartment complex fall flat, there was another one right next to it that had emergency repairs done to it because it was about to collapse as well. But anyway, Hattie 322, abortion is killing. So what's wrong with um, killing? Do you have some sort of ethical framework that are you are you a Buddhist? Are you vegan? I mean, even at the end of the day, vegans take life. Uh, me toad, we covered that already. The, um, oh, so you're a hypocrite. Got it. Got it. Life begins at birth, uh, with the first breath, Genesis chapter two, verse seven. The only time the Bible really mentions abortion is the, uh, ordeal of the bitter water. Um, so, you know, yeah. Yeah. 
Christian should be spelled cry stain. Life begins at the first interesting thing you say, me, chapter me. Yeah. Um, what am I looking for? I want, I think Deuteronomy 2018. Four twenty-five, something like that. I forget. That one. <clears throat> Why is that? That one. Yeah, fuck that site. Jesus Christ. Vermont's better than Nevada. By miles. By miles. Just for the social reasons alone. Oh, well, the New Testament alone dictates that fucking you're fucking up. The New Testament alone says, mind your own fucking business. Jesus' entire fucking premise is, judge not lest you, uh, you be judged. Uh, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Treat the, uh, treat thy neighbor as thy treat thyself. Right, like that's Jesus's entire pitch: is mind your own fucking business and look out for each other. Right, like that's Jesus's entire pitch. He's a fucking socialist at bare minimum, arguably a communalist, if not a communist, definitely with anarchistic leanings, definitely anti-war, definitely a peace activist, definitely a hippie. Potentially a fucking stoner. It's zippy. That's the only thing I will miss if I go back to Vermont from Nevada is the diaspora. Is is the, the plethora of people. Yeah, he's full on anti capitalist. Um that that I will miss that, Zippy, for sure. Yeah. That's that's the huge perk that uh Vegas has over Vermont is everything's here. Everything, everyone. They're all here. <laughs> Florida is bullied by uh, Miami. Such a dope city. Miami is a solid one. Miami is a solid one. Disney made Florida what it is today. Florida is just like Louisiana and most other southern states. Florida is very poor. If Disney left Florida right now, I bet they'd have to file for bankruptcy right away. No, they just rely upon the uh, the blue states to float them the federal currency that they need. Because like all red states, they're a net drain on the economy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Aka, I, I will miss the Keys. The Keys are nice. The rest of Florida can sink. But the, the Keys are nice. Um, yeah, I, I, dude, uh, Melanie, I'm in the camp of, you know, two, two horrible people are fighting each other as long as they, um, how, uh, as long as they, uh, um, draw blood on each other, I'm happy, right? If Disney gets cut, I'm, I'm happy. If Florida gets cut, I'm happy, right? Two, two horrible people are fighting with each other. I'm just going to sit back and watch. I'm going to laugh my ass off. Fuck all of these people. They're hilarious. So, um, did, did our hypocritical Christian leave already? I think our hypocritical Christian left already. Aw, they never are. He's pr he's praying for us as he sprints away. <laughs> mm. Jesus wouldn't have given up so easily. Jesus wouldn't have given up so easily. Just saying. Just one more Christian not living up to the standards of Jesus. Uh, Kat, we just had a, uh, a Bible thumper 
like, you know, call us all baby killers and run away. Um, I, I, I hesitate to say hypocritical Christian for fear of being too redundant. Are you retarded? shit you live in an alternate reality or something uh, I'm worried about him too he seems delusional full on I need to run to the weed store and I need to get um, multiple core exercises done So, yeah, cat, you need to not, you need to not cat. You need to sit your fucking ass down and just heal. I swear to God, cat, I will drive to fucking Los Angeles to fucking break your knees if I have to. I will straight zomboid fucking like spiked baseball bat to your fucking knees if I have to. Jesus Christ, cat. What is wrong with you? I love you too, bro. <laughs> you need to sit your fucking punk ass down and heal. Jesus goddamn Christ. Is is that supposed to be flirting? I don't know what BDSM people says, Marcus. <laughs> that's, that's what two brothers sound like, Marcus. That's what two brothers sound like. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking come up there and kick your fucking ass. Um... Me toad. I, I, dude. Yeah, cat, just brothers or cousins. <laughs> video, the video is on the Discord server. If you haven't seen it, we saved it for posterity. Cat took all the hits, but apparently Chrissy took all the brain damage. <laughs> oh, dude. Fucking A. Oh, my God. I worry about you, Glazy. I really do. I really do sometimes. I, you, you just you seem to live in an alternate reality. Uh, did anybody see the Amber Heard uh, Photoshop job? I mean, this is completely apropos of nothing and in just tabloid nonsense. Um, but the New York Post and Sky News Photoshop tears onto Amber Heard for the uh, for the photos of her testimony because she couldn't manage to cry. She couldn't manage to cry. She's she's a shit actress, so she couldn't bring up the fucking tears. By the way, she might have been snorting coke in in the courtroom. Just saying, like there was a moment where you're like, was that a bump? Um, but yeah, um, Sky News and the New York Post photoshop, photoshop tears onto her, straight up here. This is this is this is the original footage. This is the original footage. 
Here's the New York Post and Sky News. Keep in mind, they're uh, Murdoch. Murdoch. New York Post is Murdoch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they put tears on her. She, could, she couldn't manage them. <laughs> um... No, yeah, she she couldn't even get tears. It was such a shit case. Um, Cassiopeia, it must be. I, dude, I didn't. The numbers they're kicking around are insane. Are insane, dude. Hearing the accountant's testimony, holy fuck! They were married for fifteen months, and this bi this bitch wanted thirty million dollars worth of like. money, donations, tax liability coverage. Imagine being married to some cunt for 15 months and they want $30 million. Are you fucking shitting me, bitch? Oh yeah, no, she's like legit. She's got like border, uh, like cluster B, borderline, uh, fucking narcissism. She's got a whole bunch of shit apparently. Oh yeah, she's fucked in the head. Like she's properly. Ooh, oh, don't don't fucking put your dick in crazy, kids. Don't put your dick in crazy. I know it seems fun at the time, but holy shit. Yeah, Sonia, she wanted fifteen mil. Um, basically like in, in settlement. And then she wanted him to cover the tax liability, which is a little bit over 15 mil. So in total, he would have been on the hook for 30 mil. He, he won. She wanted him, which he did by the way, which he did. Okay. She, she had him cover the tax liability for the divorce as well for all the communal assets. For all of the communal liability that they they uh, they accrued during their fifteen month marriage, she had him cover the fucking tax tax liability too, and he did thirty million dollars. Fifteen months married, fifteen fuck night me toad, nineteen fuck it, fifteen months. $30 million. That's insane. That's insane. I mean... Tech support. The, apparently the thing is, is he couldn't really afford it. He, he couldn't like there, there, there were assets liquidated and moved around and shit like that. And it was covered, but it took a chunk, apparently. Like, it, it took a chunk. I, dude, the whole thing's crazy. The whole thing's crazy. The whole thing's crazy. 15 months, $30 million you owe me. Fuck me. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's what the defamation case um is about is that, i mean she ruined his reputation she partially ruined his career <laughs> oh after this no this d d zippy Prior to this case, though, he wouldn't have. This case, this case is the best thing that's happened. This is case is doing exactly what his social media management and PR team wanted this case to do. Drag her through the mud and make him look good. This case is doing exactly what it's designed to do. But prior to this case, dude, he was fucked. Also, tech support, 
just because he's rich doesn't mean he uh, uh, doesn't mean that the class warfare and the human rights uh, and the various legal and authoritative system abuses and coercive nature of the system doesn't affect him too. It's like uh, the people that were saying fuck Britney Spears even though she was literally being like legally raped by her father, right? You, you have to extend the empathy even though they, they are of uh, bourgeois class, right? They're victims of the system just as much. That's critical support. He's not a billionaire, so he's still a person. It's fine to mention that rich people can get fucked with, in my opinion. He's rich, but he's not eat the rich rich. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he doesn't own factories that we know of. Um... Everyone sounds horrible, says Aga. Abuse is abuse regardless of economic status. Tech support is so fucking fine. I get it. Yeah, I know it's difficult, man. I know it's difficult. You're like, God damn, $30 million. Fuck you. <laughs> like, give me, give me a piece of that and I'd be set for life, right? Like, I get it. Trust me, I get it. But, you know, yeah, we have to, we have to be consistent. We have to be consistent. Because if we ask for consistency from other people, we have to be willing to provide it in return. So, um, oh, God damn it. There we go. Yeah, he's not a Coke brother. Exactly. He's not a Coke brother, so fuck it. Let him, let him, you know. <clears throat> um, there. Oh, now, if I... Hold on, I'm just reading something. Yes! Okay, I just wanted to check in on something. So, um, Scott's, Scott's fucking uh, channel, uh, the people on Scott's channel right now are arguing that, um, that they're arguing that if you are in favor of abortion, you can't be in favor of trans rights. They're doing an anti-trans rant, basically, which is consistent for his channel. He is, he is anti-trans. Um, he, yeah. Cat, the same way that fucking getting rid of the state and replacing the state equals anti-statism works out. They're fucking, they're fucking retarded, man. They're fucking ANCAPs. They're dummies of the highest order. But that is neither here nor there. Uh, we are going to do a thingy. <clears throat> Glazy, I continually picked at him and continually picked at uh, so-called anarcho-capitalism the entire time he was around. Every time I got him on a VC, I'd make a fucking comment. Every fucking time. You really live in a de al delusional alternate reality, Glazy. It is astounding how fucking at, like, how you mold and shape your own reality. Um, oh, hang on. Either way, I'm reading over to Squiddy and I'm getting the rest of the night going. Uh, because I got shit to do. Um, I, I don't have time to help fucking delusional fucks that literally live in an alternate dimension. 
Oh no, Glazy sucks Scott's dick. He likes him. Glazy sucks Scott's dick. For sure. Anyway, uh, we're going to raid over to Squiddy and we're going to go from there. So we shall, I'll see you in fucking VC and we'll go, um, we'll, we'll see what we can get done. Like I said, I need to, um, I need to get a couple of fucking, um, I need to get a few workouts in and we need to get to the weed store. Catch y'all later.